top story concerns cricket, with the Essex chair, John Farragher, resigning after an allegation that he used racist language in a 2017 board meeting. Farragher is seen here with the county championship trophy that Essex won in 2017. He strongly denies the allegation, but stood down from his post following a board meeting yesterday. Essex say they'll investigate why the matter was not fully and independently investigated at the time, and that they don't tolerate discrimination of any kind. And they will immediately consider what further steps the club must take. The newly appointed Essex cricket chief executive, John Stevenson, has said there is no place for discrimination of any kind at Essex County Cricket Club. This is a proud club with a zero tolerance policy towards racism and any form of discrimination. And as Essex Cricket's new chief executive officer, I will not hesitate to uphold those principles and drive out any form of discrimination that's uncovered. I was made aware of this single allegation on Thursday, having joined the club four weeks ago. The board met last night, during which John Farrakhan's resignation was unanimously accepted by the board. We are committed to working with the England and Wales Cricket Board to eradicate discrimination from the game. This is an important first step, but the club must now act further. Our internal reporting mechanisms will be reviewed to ensure that matters such as this are dealt with appropriately and immediately. I intend for those next actions to be communicated as soon as possible. Well, this follows the ongoing racism scandal at Yorkshire, in which there will be a DCMS hearing in Parliament on Tuesday. Several of their board members have resigned after allegations from Azim Rafiq. England bowler Jofra Archer hopes awareness is raised and that people are educated going forward. Archer was racially abused while leaving the pitch after being dismissed in New Zealand in 2019, but revealed he has not witnessed abuse at county level. I'm glad that that people are, uh, are trying to be more aware. I'm glad that people are, are helping, really. And it just raises awareness for the future. So whatever work, groundwork that we put in now, it's not for now, it's for the future. It's for the young, it's for the young black kids, the young Asian kids that, that want to come into cricket so they can feel safe. The only instance I really received was New Zealand uh, 2019. Yeah, we were touring there. But apart from that, I've, n I've never had anything in the county circuit. Um, being at Sussex, we had we had probably about more than half of the black players in the whole circuit. So I think awareness was pretty high and really, really sorry he had to go through what he's been going through. And also sorry that it took so long to, to, to be resolved. You know, we don't know what scars it reopened, you know, he probably had dealt with it and then he'll pass it and now it's reopened again, you know, we don't know the reopening the case, what 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 it might do for him mentally. So, you know, I just hope he's doing all right. And I hope that everything gets resolved and and and, and ends pretty quickly.